What is good guys, I'm here with the last OT round 3 little bracket series between Sijumas and Vertex. I got interrupted 3 times when I narrated this live, so I'll re-narrate over real quick. Sijumas always has to switch out here, even if his land with Scarf, fearing a potential Scarf Greninja. Toxaplex is quite obvious here, so if Vertex didn't want to reveal that he's Scarf, he could have doubled out. T-Specs are gonna be a pain for Vertex in this game, especially if his Defog is the Mew and not the Scizor. But even if it is the Scizor, T-Specs have more PP than uh, Defog. So the, the T-Specs are gonna go up eventually. And yeah, looking at Vertex team, it could be Defog, Mew and SD Scizor. The Garchomp is um, probably not Scarf, no, that we know that it's Scarf Greninja. This could be SD, Z-Move, Garchomp, and then it could be like Specs, Coco. Uh, it's most likely a Solvest Tank growth. And yeah. Looking at Sijumas' team, I assume that's uh, Scarf, Lele, and Defensive Lander because he's quite weak to Zygarde. And yeah. Toxapex is just amazing in this matchup. He only has Coco to beat that. And Vertex has a Ferrothorn, so unless the Coco has him Power Fire. Ferrothorn checks it pretty well, and like, it just feels like a good matchup for Sijumas. So Vertex is either gonna go for Rocks here or for SD if he's an SD Chomper. I assume it's a banter on Sijuma's side. It could also be Mega, but I feel like it's banded um, to have some breaking power. So he goes for SD, and Sijuma's might go on the top of Lele here, scouting for the Z Outrage. And it's obviously not gonna go hard for Outrage because he doesn't wanna lock in. He doesn't wanna get locked in, and he also doesn't wanna. Um, like, no, the regular Outrage wouldn't kill the defensive, uh, defensive land. So he goes on a Lele, um, probably Scarf Lele. I'm not 100% sure if Moonblast even occurs the Chomp. But Vertex is most likely scattered here from a Scarf Moonblast. Um, was a cool play there, getting up the rocks on the obvious switch. But yeah, Sijumas is obviously threatened by a plus one Chomper, so he's uh, just gonna go for Moonblast here. Vertex can do his Assault vs Tangros, or he can go into his Scizor here. Yeah, if I'm hovering over the monster, I obviously don't remember what I said because I'm re-narrating. Okay, he goes in the Mew, actually didn't think he would do that. So what Vortex can do here is he can fire off a Will-O-Wisp. Um, the Renux is actually quite obvious, so, mm -hmm. so he just goes for softball, okay. Like, the Renux was super obvious there. I'm a bit surprised that Sijumas goes in Toxic Packs. Um, I feel like Sijumas wants to just get up the Toxic Spikes, it makes sense, because Sijumas himself doesn't have Hazard Control, but he wants to pressure Vortex with the Hazards. So the Vortex has to defog for Sijumas, so the rocks on Sijumas' side goes go away. Like, he doesn't have Hazard Control, like I said. Um, but he does have, oh he goes hard lately expecting a dragon move or SD, really nice play. He does have rocks on most likely Lando, spikes on Pharaoh and toxic spikes on Toxapex. So you can definitely force his opponent to defog 400, it's definitely cool. But yeah, that was a really, um, you can say risky play, but it worked out for CG Masking him Moonblast here. Now this gets poison. I guess he didn't want to go through that or risking that, that uh, CG Mom might go for um, Hidden Power Fire. I feel like he should have gone to Scizor there. So that his Tangrowth doesn't get poisoned. Um, yeah, you can go for a knockoff here and get rid of a Black Sludge on the Toxapex or on the Reuniclus. One of the two is most likely gonna come out here. Because um, you don't wanna let you, the leftovers get knocked off on your Ferrothorn, since a Ferrothorn is just a really nice check for Tapu Koko. So you wanna keep that healthy, so I completely agree with you, you must play there. And now you can just spam Scald. Uh, yeah, Toxapex doesn't really care too much about getting knocked off since it has Regenerator and Recover and all that goodness. But yeah, game 2 of this I've narrated it live, so I don't have to re-narrate this. I'm only narrating game 1 because I literally couldn't concentrate when people kept coming into my room. Um, yeah, this is looking really well for CG Mas already. Already nice, I should say. I don't know if that was correct English. Like, T-Specs just gets chip on everything, and... Uh -huh. Like, Tangrowth cannot stay in because it just loses one we want to patch. Even if it had Earthquake, it just bounces off. So yeah, he's most likely default Mew because of... Like, just because of he went into Mew. Um... And to, he got poisoned there. To be fair, what else would he have switched in? I guess he should have he could have switched into Coco. I assume he specs Coco because that means he doesn't have Roost on Coco. And not having Roost on Coco means he wants to defog the T-Spec away before he goes into Coco. Um, because otherwise he just gets burned down, doesn't have any recovery. Defogging there doesn't help him at all. Um, because 
I mean, it helps him to get rid of the T spikes for his Grenon, for his Coco, and for his Chomp. But now um, Chijima can get up a spike here, and he's leech seated, so he keeps taking poison on leech seeds. Like his Mew is not gonna stay healthy at all. And the Ferrothorn being burned is not the biggest deal for Sijima since Burn got nerfed. Um, yeah, Tita is gonna switch out here unless it has speed for Mega Scizor and it's like if it's maybe a Jolly Banta that you don't really see with Fire Punch, that would, that would be the only reason to stay in. Uh, but yeah, since he's Helmet Lando, that was actually no reason. Like, going Lando was actually a really fine play. Um, we obviously didn't know yet that he was Helmet. So he can threaten out. Um, he, he takes Spikes, Sand, and Poison, so his Mew is super low. So I think he's gonna roost here. But yeah, he threatened out the Lando with a potential Ice Beam because he's obviously going to be a fast Mew. And yeah, even if he's not a fast Mew for max speed Lando, there's a defensive Lando, so he's obviously going to outspeed it. And yeah, CGMA can just click Crunch here um, in case uh, Vertex stays and goes for Will-O-Wisp. Crunch is always the play to make. Pursuit would be a misplay if you uh, if Mew goes for Wisp there, he would be in a bad spot. But yeah, Garchomp is probably going to... he's going to be going to predict uh, the Lando here and go for... yeah, exactly, he goes for SD. And yeah, that's a, I think Bennett Crunch does a fuckload to the Chomper and killed the Mew from full, so yeah, it has to be Bennett. Um, he can go for Rox here. Yeah, Rox would be probably the play to make here. I don't think he wants to go for Earthquake, the Landers, which is quite obvious. I can, I can see him going for Devastating Drake here, expecting the land though. Um, does he even need this Banta to win? I mean, Banta is nice, but he doesn't... Yeah, okay, he doesn't need it to win. He goes for Devastating Drake, expected the lander there. Sejima just sacked off his Tita. Yeah, to be fair, he didn't need it to win. Like, he was in a super good position already anyway. And he can click um, Moonblast here. The reason you click Moonblast over Psychic is he has a Greninja that could come in for free on Moonblast. So you obviously don't want that. So he goes on the Scizor now. Uh, if he roosts here, the Toxapex just comes in for free. Like, no matter what he does, Toxapex comes in for free here. He tends to keep momentum, but now his scissor is super low. So, Lele looking like it can clean up with Moonblast spam. Uh, because scissor dies to Moonblast after spikes, so it cannot even come in on that anymore. Like, even after he sacks something, it cannot come in with scissor on Lele that's locked into Moonblast. Scissor also can't blow punch Lele because of Psychic Terrain. Uh, Lando's pretty obvious here, so I'm expecting an SD from Vertex. But no matter what he does, um, it's already looking pretty bad. Scarfly is gonna clean up late game. I wish there's a fuck ton. He does to Rocky Helmet. There's there's the rocks. There are the rocks. That's what I should say. Uh, really well played by CG Mas and rocks plus uh, spikes being up just means that uh, Tangros gets worn down and Scarfly is gonna clean up with Moonblast. So yeah, I'm gonna pause it and be right back with game two. And yeah, for game two, I actually narrated it. It li actually read it live, like I said. So stay tuned for that. We're back with game two between uh, Schumers and Vertex. So what we see here is the team that Blunder used yesterday. Katana was SD. This is uh, Scarf and Heligo, Mega Medicham. It's in Headbutt. Uh, it actually had Drain Punch on Blunder's team. Comment stuff works. Clef. Uh, Fist Dev. Steel Ass with Dev. Gastrodon. So he has good checks to... I was about to say Kingdra, but we don't see Kingdra because this is a different type of rain team. Um, so potential Belly Drum Oz, it could definitely be annoying for CG Mas. Uh, if he takes prior damage on his Katana, um, then Oz can kill it with Aqua Jet. If it's Belly Drum, let's see. Um, I assume this is Damp Rock Pelipper, since he has those two ones that get their uh, water moves powered up, and this one also gets uh, speed boost and the water move power up. But yeah, Vertex is gonna switch out here. Uh, see, Jumas can go for Toxic Spikes. I assume this is Z move Coco and a Scarf Katana on Vertex side. Yeah, you can go for T spikes here expecting the switch, yep. Because he was never staying in there. It was quite obvious. And yeah, I assume Vertex is gonna get either his rocks up. Yeah, 
Yeah, exactly. See, Juman's brought T specs in game one and now again. Seeing that Vertex is kind of weak to it usually, okay. Damn. So, does that mean that he doesn't have Defog on Pelipper? He gets up rocks without Mega Evolving, not sure why he didn't Mega Evolve. Uh, so, Jumas goes Clef, I actually thought he would go in a Celesteela, but Clef uh, makes sense as well. I think I guess Earn could be decent in game 2, since uh, Vertex uses Rain quite often, okay. I mean, he doesn't have a King Draw. King Draw is like the main one that Gastron would wall. Um, it obviously wants the Greninja of his Ash, unless it gets flinched down. I mean, even Protein Gwen gets checked quite well by Gastron. So it seems that he doesn't have Defog, because otherwise I think he should have gone for it. Um, obviously, going for Rocks doesn't make any sense if you were going to Defog right after, so he probably just doesn't have Defog. Um, so Kursijuma is forced into his Celesteela here, I would say. You obviously don't want to sack your guess run. It's quite obvious that Vertex is not gonna like just go for Leaf Blade, like double was quite obvious, but there was still no reason for Sijumas to stay in, it's just way too risky when guess run is like super important in this game. And Vertex double into Greninja doesn't even give him that much advantage because like... Um, I think Vertex is gonna spike here, anticipating a potential protect. But yeah, Vertex had to take a T-spike round and he had to take rocks. So that was completely fine for Sijumas. Yeah, he goes for spikes, that makes a lot of sense. And Gastron can just click a Scald or Earthquake here. Probably Scald, trying to burn the Pelipper. Or trying to burn whatever comes in. Does not get it. So he can just go for Recover here, um, in case the Pelipper goes for Specs Hurricane. Or he can also just Scald again, but I assume he went for Recover. He goes for Mirror God. Ooh. So he anticipated the Pelipper to attack and he wanted to blow it back. Interesting, so he has probably Miracle instead of Toxic, and then he has Recover and Earthquake or Earth Power in the last two slots, I would assume. So he's just gonna get up all, up all his spikes and then die. Oh, he's Protein, I didn't even realize that early. He's Protein Greninja, okay, he's not Ash. Okay, okay. So this is a free, um... Celesteela again. The spikes are obviously nice to do more damage to this, but oh, I guess he just forfeits. Nice team choice. So let me think about what Vertex could have done. He could have doubled in the Coco on a Celesteela, but it doesn't. It wouldn't have done much because he would. Then he would take. Then he would take Poison plus Rocks. Then Chijima could go for Protect. And yeah, this is most likely Scarf because otherwise he could have gone for SD and all that pummeling to weaken the Celesteela. But yeah, Toxic Spikes just overwhelm him. Well, that was crazy. Game two was just so short. Good God. That's wild. But yeah, this was. The last game for round three. Round four is already up. Uh, one game was already played in losers bracket. The one, the game between um, here and Sucht the rest was already played. I can link the replays down in the description if you guys want to see them. I did not catch that series live. I mean, I could record replays, but I feel like I don't want to do that because replays are back. Since so, you guys can just check out the replay. Um, yeah, I kind of, I quite like this team actually. This is something I would build myself. Um, but it's, it's a bit weird that it has three Ultra Beasts. Um, I actually have been, uh, like, I don't think Nihiligo is that good since Majorna is still around. But I've actually been a fan of Nihiligo, but I stopped using it because of the Dougie thing. And Dougie was just too, too too common at one point, so I stopped using Nihiligo. It's one of the best Volcarona checks. I know Volcarona is not common at the moment. Um, it's also a really great Zard White check because. Um, so that's why it usually doesn't carry Earthquake anymore. At one point they carried Earthquake, but now they carry Focus Blast because Tita um, is quite a bit more common because Dougie got banned, or Arena Trap got banned. So it's a really good Zabwai check as well. Um, it has really decent speed dev and HP, just the fist dev is pretty shit. I don't remember if the HP was decent, I think it was decent. Uh, yeah, so it's three beast with this. But yeah, thank you for watching. Sijumas um, with a nice performance and he prepped well for Vertex and he beat him 2 and 0. Oh. So Vertex is out of all T now, Sijumas. Uh, is gonna face, I think, Bush Tush in round four, so it's gonna be a cool game. I'm definitely gonna try to catch that life. We guys have a fantastic day and peace out.